Welcome! We're looking at some more big old pile of fuckery today. So, Joaquin Phoenix has walked out of an interview over the Joker over a question. Now, a lot of people are kind of misrepresenting this. So, this says controversial question. Um, we've got Joaquin Phoenix storms out of interview after being asked another question. I won't say what it is just yet. No joker, why Joaquin Phoenix walked out of our interview. And this is for, this is actually The Telegraph, which we'll, we'll touch on in a second. Uh, okay, epic. You guys don't have the article there. Never mind, right, so, what is this? Look, he was asked, he was asked about the joker inspiring real life violence. Not relevant for the actor or the film. It is, it is this nonsense sort of way of thinking now that, because I get it, right? I get it. When, when I do, I, you know, I do some videos now which could be deemed somewhat controversial here and there. I understand and appreciate that. But I always try to come from like a down the line, common sense, logical point of view. And then I, I've been told, ah, you're responsible for everyone's comments. What? No, I'm not. You're responsible for your comment. You are responsible for your own actions. I'm not responsible for anything. What are you talking about? And it's the same argument here. He's being asked, effectively, you know, what do you think about this uh, promoting violence, inciting actual violence? There seems to be this bizarre hate campaign against this movie. It's a character study. It looks to be an epic character study. I can't wait for it. But no. White man bad must hide away from these uh, real life potential people. We can't. We can't. Why? Why can't we? We, we shouldn't sympathise with these people. Sorry. What? Half these people, unfortunately, yes, they're messed up. But a lot of these people are what you guys, the ones which are wanting to run away from this stuff, you create. You create these people. But remember, just want to hide away from it, yeah. Because that makes you feel better. It makes you feel better. You sleep a little bit better at night. Of course it does. So let's get into it, right? Let's take a look at the uh, Digital Spy article first. Joaquin Phoenix is garnering tremendous praise and Oscar buzz for his role as a comedian turned villain in the upcoming Joker. But the actor, who's currently on the promotional trail for the film, found himself in an awkward situation during an interview with The Telegraph when an uncomfortable question caused him to walk out. It's not an uncomfortable question. It goes down to... And it's the same stuff, right? Everyone's seen this very famous interview with Robert Downey Jr. When the guy just goes off on a complete tangent. Uh, Guru, Murphy, Guru Murphy, his name is. Of, I think it's the BBC. And starts talking about Robert Downey Jr.'s drug problems. And the problems with his father and his jail time. It's about an Iron Man film. Motherfucker, what are you doing? It's the same kind of thing. R actually, like... R rather than reporting on the film you're reporting on the potential real life repercussions of the film acts of violence what are you doing it's not relevant to the film um now during the interview phoenix was asked if he was worried that this film might perversely end up inspiring exactly the kind of people it's about with potentially tragic results the question caused phoenix to mutter why would you no no to the interviewer before walking out only to return an hour later after the journalist did some peace brokering with Warner Brothers PR. Explaining his response, Phoenix said that the question hadn't crossed his mind before and then asked what an intelligent answer would have sounded like. Phoenix appears to have a habit of walking off because Todd Phillips has said on record, he said like, in the middle of scenes he'll just walk away, uh, he'll just walk out, he explains, and obviously everyone else thinks it's to do with them, but it's never them, it's actually to do with him. He's just not feeling it. It's something he does. But his response, why would you? No, no, and just walking out is absolutely the right response. Worried this, f is he worried this film might perversely end up inspiring exactly the kind of people it's about with potentially tragic results? He's in it for the, he's in it for the art, for the character study. He's in it to make a good movie, he's an actor. You don't sit there and ask a race car driver. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me. Interview. 
I know you've just won. I know you're looking like you're probably going to win the world championship because you've won a lot of rounds here. Excuse me. Do you think that your excessive speed on the track that has caused you to win, do you think, that they may that may actually inspire young children to speed in real life and kill people. The same it's the same thing. He's an actor. He's doing a job. It's not relevant, mate. It's not relevant. It's not relevant at all. You tell me right now why one is relevant and the other isn't. Because you won't be able to. And if you can, best prepare for the Olympics, bro, because you'd be doing some good mental gymnastics to get there. So let's take a look at the sun, right? Joker actor Joaquin Phoenix walked out of an interview promoting his new film after he was asked if dark scenes could inspire real-life violence. Now, it follows the New York Times article in which Phillips said that the actor would blah, 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 in the middle of the scene and just walk away. Despite early misgivings from fans and critics, screenings of the films have seen rave reviews pour in. He has been branded stunning, fearsome, and gripping in the film, which is the first standalone film from the legendary villain. Um, oh, is that it? Is that all you're writing about in this? Nonsense. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, here we go. It's really, really, really good reviews. And yet we get comments like that. Now, let's see what The Telegraph had to say. Oh, I can't. Because you've got your article on lockdown. Oh, I hate you so much, The Telegraph. I am not paying for you. I'm not paying for you. But basically, from petulant Roman emperors to mus musicians battling demons, he is an actor who immerses himself in roles while delighting in wrong-footing those he works with, including Telegraph journalists. What? Perfect preparation for his latest award-winning film, Joker. That's a bit of a mischaracterization if I ever did see one. Joaquin Phoenix is not laughing. The 44-year-old actor stretches his arms along the back of the sofa and fixes me with a look that could bore a hole in a tooth. He's dressed entirely in black, faded jeans, plain hoodie, with around half a week salt and pepper stubble on his jaw and silvering near shoulder-length hair pushed back behind his ears on this pricklingly hot west hollywood day inside a nondescript business hotel now i'm not going to get in i'm not going to get into the rest of the, obviously i'm not i'm not going to pay for that article am i let's be honest um i'd love to hear what they actually said about it i would really really love to hear how you can do the mental gymnastics for that is insane no one is responsible for anyone else's actions it, it's this mind boggling crap I could say jump. You don't have, you know, you don't have to say how high. You don't have to. You know, I don't even do disclaimers, right? I did, I did a video recently about that John, I think his name was John Phipps, the IGN twat. And I'm not, I'm not in the business of doing disclaimers and saying, don't attack these people. One, because nothing in my video asks you to ever and secondly if you did you're responsible for your own actions anyway i'm not doing this disclaimer nonsense and i don't think anyone should because it, you're by doing disclaimers you are already admitting some responsibility for other people's actions we live in a world now where apparently an actor doing his job is responsible for potential murders moving forwards it's shocking it is absolutely shocking. I don't understand it. So I thought you'd love this little article. This little misrepresentation of the facts. He didn't move out because of a con he didn't walk out because of a controversial question. He walked out because the question just absolutely wasn't relevant and it's total bollocks. Like I say, race car driver, speed is on the street. Same comparison. It's exactly the same argument. How is one relevant and the other is and, and the other isn't, right? Answer me that. Riddle me this, mofos. Anyway, I'm going. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below. Pleasure doing these videos. I really do enjoy them now. Uh, they uh, get a little bit of flack here and there, but I am still doing everything else. Rambo review right there. And also my Ad Astra review right there. 
So please do go check those out if you're not a fan of these particular videos. But I love them, and I hope you do too. If you do, give this video a like and a share. Support the channel further. I've got Patreon, and I've got merch down below underneath the video. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I've been Miss H. Take care.